Hi guys, my name is Tokwa Delano. You're welcome to Views and Vibes. So on April 19th, 2019, on the day of the Lord, our dear Simisola released Omo Charlie Jambi and Twitter went a buzz like I started getting DMs from people like, oh, have you listened to Tim, uh, Simi's um, album? Have you listened to this? I started saying things like, oh, Simi is the greatest, Simi is talented, Simi is this. We're going to get to that, but I want to say something first. I personally think Simi is the most powerful female artist Nigeria has. And this is why I know some of you are already dropping your pearls and wondering, oh, what's the saying? Are you high? Are you? I will explain. Simi came into the industry at a point where Every other female artist that has been in this industry came with the intent to be, uh, they, have, they had to pull up the sexy part, they had to either be sexy or be a tomboy or this. A brand was being the girl next door, which she did so well, she legit held every guy in this country by their balls. Simi is the only person that can say go suck a dick as a guy. She will say it in a way that you would not even be, if you're homophobic, if you're anything, she will say it in a way that you will still be smiling sheepishly. Like, yes, 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 I will suck a dick for you. She's that good because if you talk to anybody now, the first thing they will tell you is, oh, her voice is like ice cream. I know somebody actually, his name is Banji Koka. The first thing he'll tell you is, her voice is like ice cream. Oh, Simi, oh, Simi, so like, oh, she's this. Dear Simi fans, we're going to be talking about Omo Charlie. Champagne. So Charlie being the first um, track on this album, Simi personified vulnerability in music. She went all in with this track. You could actually feel the pain, the hurt, the disappointment. You could feel everything in this song. From the lyrics, down to the theme, down to the production. This is the track that actually gave me the go ahead to continue to listen to the album. Um, I would say for a very long time to come, this will actually be like the benchmark for any song to be called great in my book. This, this song, this is it. She actually went all in and she did a great, she did an amazing job with Charlie. Next song, in my own mind, what I think should be the next song is the one with her husband by you, which personally I really do not think they needed to put in the album because they, they already had Promise, they already had The Secret Wedding, they already have a couple of other songs together. I see no reason why they needed to do another song to tell us how much they're into each other. They could have just kept this song for maybe five years into their marriage it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's still hot. It's still, you know, if they needed to do anything together, probably show us how you exchanged vows on your wedding. So the next song I will be talking about is titled Move On. But before I reveal the song, before I share my thoughts about the song, I'd like us to listen to the song for a couple of seconds and then I'll give my thoughts on it. So, okay, so basically, the only thing, a couple of things I do not like about this song is the fact that she had to like overdo the whole thing. If it felt like she was too comfortable singing about this kind of song, too way too comfortable, way too carefree about it. Like I could just it's break up. I, I'm kind of um, familiar with this um, with this um, emotion, so I can just like do it. Personally, I feel it shouldn't be on the album, but it's on the album. It's a good song, but I feel she overdid it with the. Ooh, going up and all of that. It's a good song, but not really. So the next song I will be reviewing is titled Immortal featuring Malik Berry. Now this song is actually one of the songs on this album. I thought, okay, well, I like sex. I like Malik Berry. I thought, okay, yeah, we can actually play this song when we're having like disrespectful sex or you're you know you're getting in the mood and all of that but i was disappointed but i will play the song first and then i'll tell you why i was disappointed so okay, so you get a guy telling you that he's going to go down you get a guy telling you that he's going to do the whole slow motion thing a guy is actually telling you, a guy is fine as malik berry is telling you something like that and you are now coming you're now singing clean version negress why you actually like broke my heart into pieces. You, you chopped it into pieces. Then you now grated it. 
completely and then you now threw it away. That's what you did. This song was actually supposed to be the song meant for people that are super, 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 super high and they are ready to like super, 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 super fuck each other and they are ready to like super, 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 super make their shit wet. What you did, you broke my heart with this, see me. Malik Berry actually said he's going to go down. He's going to do the whole how, who, who, who actually comes back and starts saying, come on, come on now, come, come on, really, really, really. That's the, only, that's the only thing you did with this song that messed it up. You're trying to stay clean. You could have easily gone, I'm going to use Poe now, I'm going to use Poe. Poe actually, there's a song um, he did with um, Fumbi. He was actually being very sexual, but did it in a way that, it was Virgo, but it actually covered it up in a way that you would really want to be like, yeah, I really want to fuck Poe. This one, you, 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 you made it look, you, you got a girl super wet, Malik Berry did that, and then you started singing, and everything dried up. Who does that? So after all said and done, but finally at the end of this reveal and i feel personally i feel how much Charlie champagne is more of a compilation of singles that um i, I wouldn't want to call it an album song arrangement was a no-no no like I, I i do not understand how you start with something as awesome as charlie and then the next thing i hear is i don't i don't i i will not for the life of me understand how i i would not it's just the song arrangement, no, no. The lyrics, she really dumbed it down. She, in fact, she actually made my job as a music critic like super easy because everything was on the surface. You could easily, immediately you listen to the song, you already know, okay, this is it. You do not need to like, oh, she used the metaphor here. Oh, she, I need to, no, it was just on the surface. It was simple, it was straightforward. It was lovely, the album was lovely. But I would not call it, a great album no i would not call it a great album it was good the album was good but it wasn't a great album so we finally come to the end of the show guys thank you so much for keeping a date with me we will be here next week again Oi. Hey, yo, buff. Hey, bear man, at me bullshit, eh? oh no but test that finna let y'all know a bit about fuck boys you know on the beat though Bolo. Uh, this right here for your boys Pussy ass niggas act like you're tough Clicking on your words like you got cough Rocking one jeans and two tops Man stay down to earth like I'm tough Man gon' kick up bars in these cuffs Man gon' sip one drink from two cups Why y'all trying to gloat? I just cough My man's like uh, Pull up in the ends with my friends and the girls in the bands uh, Y'all chatting shit, trying to sound smart, make no sense uh, I was on the road with my mans, now you trying to be friends? Uh, Black girl laugh, little niggas stop uh, following trends Fuck boy, what what? Young nigga try to say what? what? Yeah. Fuck boy, what what? Your everyday crush is a tut tut. Fuck boy, what what? You should really try to work work. Fuck boy, just work work. All that smoke don't make you a bad guy, boy, nigga. Fuck boy, fuck boy. Fuck boy, fuck boy. Fuck boy, fuck boy. Fuck boy. Hey, motherfucker, I find you, eh? Think I won't find you, I Google you, eh, motherfucker. You're the one I see coming around here, fuck boy, eh? You're a catfish, nigga. I can't get a photo of you, motherfucker. Shit. Back to the topic in the ends. Man's head with the win all right. Now you wanna be friends, y'all. I can never rephrase it. Grind so hard, y'all can never replace me. Shine so bright, now you wanna change phase me. Gone for a while, now I'm back with the aces. Cards on deck while I make my prep from the underground scene. Now who's gonna replace me? Uh, pull up in the ends with my friends and the girls in the bands. Uh, y'all chucking shit, trying to sound smart, make no sense. Uh, I was on the road with my mans, now you trying to be friends? Uh, Black girl laugh, little niggas start uh, following trends. Fuck boy, what what? Young nigga try to say what what? Fuck boy, what what? Your everyday crush is a tut tut. Fuck boy, what what? You should really try to work work. Fuck boy, just work work. All that smoke don't make you uh, a bad guy, boy, nigga. Fuck boy. I just know, baby, love. Fuck boys. Boy, you fuck boys. I just know, baby, love. Fuck boys.